Hej, Thomas heter jag. Välkommen till min kanal. A couple of months ago, three months ago, I bought a higher mileage Tesla Model S. Uh, let's look at the battery degradation and the overall quality of the car. I have been following Tesla uh, since 2014. Uh, I like what they are doing and I'm a big Tesla fanboy. But I'm always told, at least uh, on the in internet, that the battery degradation of electric cars um, is really bad. The information, the statistics you can get from Tesla uh, is more than a nice car, but not enough, I think. So I highly recommend uh, all of you to get scan my Tesla. You need some hardware, uh, adapter and wire, and then you have the, the, the app itself. But I hi highly recommend it. You have a lot of information you can find there. The original owner, the taxi company, has kept track of everything done to the car and I cannot find anything pointing to uh, that the battery pack has been changed and I have also contacted Tesla support and they cannot find uh, any uh, signs at all that the, the pack has been changed so everything points to that this is the original battery pack I'm pretty amazed at how well the batteries have held up after four years of constant abuse with supercharging uh, as a taxi. After four years and 400,000 kilometers or 250,000 miles, uh, the car has been charged 1,684 uh, times. And that is 90,000 kilowatt hours of supercharging and 14,500 kilowatt hours of AC charging. And the battery seems to have lost 0 0.7 kilowatt hours of battery. That's 99% of the original capacity of the battery. I bought this car to do a lot of tests. Uh, the first test I'm going to do is a uh, highway. Uh, continuous drive at uh, about 56 miles per hour or 90 kilometers per hour. I want to slowly discharge the battery down to 0% to get the max capacity out of the battery pack. I'm not thinking about the way you keep my world from spinning I'm just thinking about your eyes Just don't know if I've been faking or pretending But I know I never felt so damn alive I don't know if I believe the information given That there is someone by your side Coming back inside my body for a second There is no way that I'm never gonna try Hell At this stage I was getting warnings for low power and region and uh, I was more or less uh, creeping to a halt so I pulled over to the side and called for a tow truck.
after the car was loaded onto the truck bed, the driver asked me where I wanted to go and I explained I missed the superchargers by three kilometers or two miles and just laughed at me and said, couldn't you have pushed it that, uh, that distance? So after the four minute drive, we ride at the Lagan supercharger and uh, fortunately there were no other uh, cars around so we had plenty of space to maneuver the tow truck and we uh, unloaded it. An update from yesterday, everything went well. We uh, rolled the car the last meter, uh, me and the tow guy together, and then uh, connected to the supercharger. And after a couple of minutes, uh, it started charging as normal, no problem at all. Uh, I saw max charge uh, just above 140 kilowatts as, uh, as the highest number. Uh, I stayed there for about half an hour, so I got 50% uh, charge, and then I disconnected and drove home. No, uh, no, no strange behavior, behavior. Everything was normal. So I got home, uh, parked, and now I have uh, slow charge it during the night. And uh, if I turn around, I can show you the state of charge is. 90% if I have timed it better I think I couldn't have seen 100% there 
And if you look at the numbers on the scan my Tesla, you can see that the actual numbers are oh, very healthy. And DC charge is almost 90,000 kilowatt hours. AC charge is about 14,500. So in total for this 1,684 charge cycles, it's 86% supercharged. And for the four years of the, uh, as a taxi, it equals around 1.2 supercharge sessions uh, per day. In conclusion, I will go through and show how the car has aged and what uh, flaws that exist when I bought the car. Uh, as I said, it's been used as a taxi, so take that into account. The car has nothing inside. The car is loose or rattly and uh, broken. Everything is uh, dead silent when you're driving, so that's very nice. Uh, no rattling, no vibrations. The, the wear of the driver's seat is easily uh, fixed because there are no cracks. There's only leather paint that is needed. It will buff out to be kind of nice again. The rear light has some cracks and that makes moisture creeping into it. The front light is in quite bad condition. You can still legally drive it in Sweden, but it has moisture inside it. And also the daytime running light is uh, half broken, so it needs to be changed. The car is also in, in uh, need of both inside and outside detailing. The trunk lid has a s strange damage onto it. It looks like a big rock or something has fallen from the sky. You can see markings on the back window and also a dent on the t tailgate. Here you can see a small 3D printed trash can I made. The trunk is very clean and uh, in good condition. For, and for some reason, the owner of the car let his unused wall charger come with the, the, the purchase. So I got that for free as a bonus. <laughs>